Okay, so this video is going to show you how to use the Digo toolbar. Digo is a tool that we'll be using um, periodically throughout the semester to annotate stuff on the web and talk about it. Um, the video, the uh, video tutorial here assumes a couple of things. One, that um, you've signed up for a Digo account uh, by going to digo.com and choosing sign up. Um, and uh, two, that you've um, installed the Digo toolbar by going to digo.com and clicking here on tools and going down to the Digo toolbar for either Internet Explorer or Firefox which is really the best way to do it um, or you can use these other uh, tools if you're using different web browsers but I highly recommend uh, using the Digo toolbar within Firefox or Internet Explorer um, and so the third thing is that you've accepted um, the invitation that I sent out to your USF email earlier this week to join our uh, special class group that I've created for, uh, for uh, this semester. Um, so if you have all that stuff done, this video should make sense. And if not, um, you can email me if you have any questions about how to accomplish those tasks. So moving on to the, uh, the Digo toolbar itself, let's take a look here. Um, here it is. Uh, this is what it looks like across the top of my Firefox browser here. And what it enables you to do is um, go on any web page across the internet and uh, find a chunk of text. And you can highlight the text. And then you can go up here to the toolbar and you can press highlight. And you'll see that uh, a yellow highlight appears. And when I mouse over the, uh, the highlight, I get a little pencil here. And if I click that and then choose add sticky note, I can actually make a note about this highlight. So I actually live in New York City and I'm preparing for the worst tonight as Hurricane Irene approaches. So here's my, uh, here's my comment. Um, you'll notice that it's set, to, um, it's set to publish privately to my Digo account. If I were to hit post right now, nobody else would be able to see this highlight but me. For the purposes of our class, um, we want to share our notes so everybody can see them. Um, so I can actually go down and I can choose our class, ENC 1102. Um, fall 2011 and I can choose post and now my comment is live and when I mouse over I can see the comment. So let me show you what this looks like on a web page that's been marked up significantly. This is a web page from a class a few years ago that was using Digo and you can see here all the different comments that students have left on this particular uh, on this particular blog post, right? And if I want to view any of these comments, I can just click or just highlight over uh, with my mouse the little thought bubble here that shows that there are three comments. Here they are. And then I can add my own comment to the conversation. And once I hit post, you'll see that my comment has now been added to the conversation. So for this week, the assignment um, includes going to this website, which will be linked in the class blog. Um, I've put the instructions right in the, uh, the title here. So if you are log again, if you're logged in to, uh, to Digo and you have the Digo toolbar installed and you've joined our class group, you'll be able to see the instructions just like this uh, when you visit this web page. Um, and the instructions ask you to uh, pick a definition of rhetoric that resonates most with you, uh, most strongly with you. And then once you have that definition, you need to highlight it and go up here to highlight and then you need to uh, elaborate on why this definition um, resonates with you. So and then the key here is to make sure that you don't publish it privately but that you publish it to our class so that everybody else in the class can see it and through publishing it through the class, it will enable us to have conversations around the web about different forms of rhetoric. Any questions, uh, send me an email. Otherwise, good luck.